Miss Wickham School, it's Miss Withy and I'm joined with Trixie <laughs> and we are going to read the bedtime story this week. So we are going to read Puppy's Big Rescue which I thought was quite apt seeing as we have Trixie here. <laughs> Trixie, bye, kiss. Little Puppy was very proud of his dad who had just won a blue ribbon for being a champion sheepdog. One day I'm going to win a blue ribbon just like you, said the little puppy. To be a top sheepdog, said his dad, you need to be able to move quickly and listen carefully to what you're told. But little puppy was not listening. Nearby he could see his friends running towards the big oak tree. At the oak tree, little puppy looked up to see a beehive. I'm going to see if there's any honey inside, he said. Watch out for bees, little puppy, called out his friends. But little puppy was not listening. As he put his paw into the beehive, a loud buzzing filled the air. Little Puppy ran away as fast as he could, then splash! He landed right in the middle of a muddy pond. Brr, the water is freezing, said Little Puppy shivering. I had better shake myself dry before I catch a cold. Stop, Little Puppy, shouted his friends, or you will get us all wet. But Little Puppy was not listening. As he shook and shook and shook, he covered his friends in water. Look at Ram, laughed Little Puppy. He's soaking wet. I wouldn't be wet if you had listened, bleated Ram. Ram chased Little Puppy out of the pond, down the lane, through the gate, and across the farmyard straight into a slimy, stinky pile of squelchy muck. Are you alright? asked Little Puppy's friends. No, I'm not, he whimpered. I'm fed up, tired, and very smelly. That evening, Little Puppy settled down for a sleep with his dad. I'll never be a good sheepdog, he sighed unhappily. I always seem to end up in trouble. You just need to listen, Little Puppy, said his dad softly. Then you will know what to do next. All I can hear right now are snoring animals, yawned Little Puppy, as he drifted off to sleep. In the middle of the night, Little Puppy suddenly woke up. Bah, bah. <laughs> that sounds like Ram, thought Little Puppy. He got up and crept quickly out of the barn, just in time to see a dark shape slinking towards the sheep. A fox! Little Puppy bounded towards the fox, barking as loudly as he could. Get away from my sheep, he barked as the frightened fox ran back across the hill. I'm so glad you heard my bleats for help, Little Puppy, said Ram the next day. The farm animals all agreed that Little Puppy deserved a very special reward for being so brave. Well done, Little Puppy, said his dad proudly. You can have my special blue ribbon as a reward. You are the best sheepdog on the farm. And that is our book, West Wickham. I think Trixie enjoyed it. Did you like that? Trixie's going to have a treat for being so well behaved. And thank you all for watching, Miss Wickham. I hope you have a lovely evening. Bye!